Welcome guys, it's Wowman Jacob from youtube.com slash thereabouts gaming and I thought I want to do a uh, let's play a full of a full game rather than do my indie games now. Uh, this is Deus Ex Human Revolution. It's been around I don't know two years now? I'm not too sure about that. But it, I remember it being a really good game. It's a really kind of somber game. Um, and you can hear from the music. The music is brilliant in this game, I have to stress. Um, even this, you know, I just came back onto the um, main menu. I'm getting all the feels, you know what I mean? Um, I played it on the easiest, tell me a story. So this time I think we'll go on Give Me a Challenge. Um, and we'll see if I can complete it. Though I remember getting stuck quite a few times even on Tell Me a, Tell Me a Story at one part of the game, so let's hope I can beat it or give me a challenge. Let's go straight in. Uh, the Typhoon Explosive System Augmentation launches a cloud of high velocity ball bearings, blah blah blah. Okay, so I'll explain things as we go along, uh, as much as I know at least. So you can augment yourself to have different abilities and strength and stuff which you'll be able to see later on in the game and yeah that's all you really need to know at the moment apart from that this game is very interesting because you can solve different things in different ways um, so you can either like walk some way or you can like hack an elevator and go up it and stuff oh the hacking system is really good as well which you'll probably find out about but I should shut up now because this guy is going to speak I feel or not, but uh, I'll let you watch it. Is everything in place? Almost. What do you mean, almost? I have spoken with Montreal. The broadcast satellites are ours when we need them. A few weeks of discomfort, and the public will be primed for our recall. And the clinics? We control them those things. They will do as we say. I still think we should wait for the referendum. We can't afford to wait. America's Science Board convenes next month. But the mood among the delegates is shifting. I'm positive that given more time... No. By going public with this discovery, Seraph is forcing our hand. The world will not change overnight just because David Seraf will it. Besides, we can do nothing until our biochip is ready. I thought you said you were close. Finding the correct nerve interface has proven more challenging than anticipated. Fortunately, thanks to David, I now know where to look. Oh, frame rate drop. And it's back up, it's fine. It's only for a sec. And in Washington tonight, crowds continue to gather in front of the Capitol. Most are demanding that Congress severely restrict efforts to alter the human body's abilities. This in response to claims made by biotechnology expert David Seraph that his firm may have discovered a way to make human control evolution available to all. Seraph Industries researchers are sent This to is in the future. I think it's like 2054 or something like that. So everything is quite different. With all due respect, Major, I'll expect two security details waiting for us, on the tarmac. No, we won't be going through the terminal, it's too exposed, but... Yes. I'm glad you understand. Good night, idiot. Something wrong? And the subtitles are broken, reasons, apparently. But you keep pulling on that necklace, oh, there we go. you read, and you're gonna break it. Come on, Meg. You've defended your research before. That was different. Then it was all just theories. But this discovery, Adam? It's big. Kepler big. Rosetta Stone big. So, what's the problem? They'll want to know how I found it. Megan, we're leaving for DC and... Adam, you're there. Good, good. You need something, boss? Yeah. I want to go over your security plans for Washington before we leave. You and your team ready to go, Megan? Almost, David. We're just rechecking data. Well, make it snappy. 
We have to actually be in Washington before you can dazzle all those federally appointed know-it-alls. I hate it when he does that. Come on, I'll walk you part way. As you can already see, the graphics are really nice in this game. I think I've got it turned up, but I might need to turn it down if um, if lag becomes a problem, but I don't think it should be. Although Fraps is known to make lag ten times worse, even if there isn't any lag in the first place. And also you can see as he walks, there's kind of a wobble, which is really nice. Uh, if you don't have this game, I would recommend going to get it. It's Deus Ex Human Revolution. Uh, which is the second Deus Ex game, but you don't really need to have played the first one to get into it and that. Come on, slow folk. You know, you really should get in the habit of locking your computer, man. I know. I'm, hey, uh, I'm not, not going to read these, can't be bothered. Because I played through last time and I tried to get as many achievements and stuff as I could when I went through. Oh. But, um, I'm not going to do this this time. Do that this time. I'm just going to play through the game as quickly as I can, really. Because I just want to give you a brief overview. And if you want to, you know, get all the achievements and look at the ins and outs, you can do that for yourself. What did you mean back there, Meg? About how you found it? Nothing. It's just my nerves talking. There's something I should know about this place, about Sarah. Megan! Hold on. We're still getting biochemical fluctuations across the artificial flow center. Okay. But the increased neuropeptides coming from the P-Dot cluster could be slowing off your calibration. Right. I'll double-check that. As you can already see, Megan's quite the scientist. Asking about David. You've been here long enough to know... Eric! You wouldn't be avoiding me, would you? I wouldn't dream of it, Dr. Reed. I, I think I know why Declan's readings are off. Too many peptides? I'm thinking the glial tissue breakdown we noticed after splicing in the repressive protein might be the cause. If we had a better cytometer... We might get a more accurate reading of the transmitter. I'll ask I'll David to consider it. Well, if he orders one from Page Industries... Oh, that was my fault. Pressed the space, but I didn't know it paused it, to be fair. You overthink everything, Adam. The work we're doing is good. We're helping people overcome their physical limitations. Yeah, except most of our clients seem to be DOD. You're doing it's good. not all news. Another hour to go. We work with teachers, doctors, construction workers. <gasps> Damn it! Watch it, Eddie. Your boxes are worth more than your salary. Sorry, sorry. Nia, you almost ready? For Washington? Huh. So, ah, I'm Adam. Hey, this is General O'Neill. This character's Adam. Telling you you've made progress on the typhoon. Yeah, thanks to the and he's story. like a security guard say, type guy? For Seraph Industries. Combat chassis, like the one I'm wearing. But I've improved its design. Using shape, and here they're doing uh, experiments and stuff. So, uh, looking at augmentations for people as defenses or to help them run faster and lots of different things. And Sarif's a very uh, important industry company that's basically making all these things and promoting them a lot for the populace. You're missing the point. Defense contracts keep us afloat, but neural augmentations that make you think faster react quicker. They can really improve a life, everybody's lives. David's talked about it for years. Or they can be dangerous. He is a talker. He's a good man. I've needed that. A part of me likes him. No, I like everyone, Dr. Reed. Yeah, right. I know there's a lot of talking before anything starts, but it's nice that they shift the camera around a bit. How far are you going? Diane's office. It's really fun to play though once you get playing. He's got big wheels. Keeps knocking over all my plants. Did you destroy that base yet? I moved it. And I fenced in the yard. Like you always said you were going to. Yeah. Never got around to that. Good evening. Richard. God, not so, this douchebag. Are we all ready for the trip? There's Farida. I'd better hurry. See you at the helipad, Adam. 
See ya. Did I interrupt something, Jensen? Fix that firewall yet? You don't fix an entire firewall. You find a loophole and plug it. Then did you plug it? Yes, I did. You want to know how? Oh, wait, I forgot. Ex-cop. I doubt he'd understand. Ex-SWAT. And you'd be surprised. Sarah has to see you too. Athena. She wants me to show her how to track our scientists' implanted locator devices. Although I call this guy douchebag, he's actually on the good side. He's on our side and he's quite good, but his attitude's a little bit... You know, you've seen it just then. This is the newest in encrypted GPL tracker system. The transmitted data for a dedicated service. I don't care what it takes. I want to use Gero. In this is the room we saw a minute ago. Where the guy was talking to the other guys on the screen. Senators love this guy, Lyle. The hearings will go much smoother with him there. Or at least I believe it is. Day for us tomorrow. There we go, it says 2027 the year. Capitol Police will escort us to the hill and then Federal Protection Services takes over. Good, good. How's our girl holding up? She's nervous. All she has to do is show him her research. She explained it to you. Not really into the whole science thing, boss. It's incredible. All those purists out there accusing us of tampering with the natural order when all Megan's done is figure out how to unlock the potential that exists within our own DNA. It's mm. safer and easier than anything you Gero ever did. Environmental malfunction. Laboratory oh, she... section six. All lab chiefs. Please report in. We better not take any chances. Not tonight. Use my elevator to get down there. You know the code? Yeah, 0451. 0451, okay. You can uh, remember that? Yes, sir. Isn't it weird how people say 0451 when technically it's a zero and O is a letter? Hmm. I remember the first time I played this, I was like, oh, I don't need to remember that number. And I came over here and I was like, oh, crap, what's the number? And I had to wait around for ages until he, um, until he told me again. Like that. Uh, E. So, yeah, as we can see, the graphics were really nice. Um, I'd give them a 10 out of 10 graphics. Seriously. Really good. Can you get eyes on her? I mean, we've got games like Dishonored and at that, but they're more cartoony graphics, and this is kind of, you know, proper state-of-the-art graphics, I'd say. They brought out a DLC for this game, but I didn't actually buy it, because I heard it wasn't really worth it, to be fair. Tutorial available, now I'm fine, thank you. Let's remember how to do things. Right, control is move slower, shift is run. That makes sense, putting the slow and the fast buttons next to each other. It's my crouch button. Oh, C. Let's go and find some bad guys. Wait. Didn't we walk around here a minute ago? Was that... Nah, that must have been a different floor. Oh. Well, that guy looks genetically enhanced. So... Let's move some stuff. Let's chuck it away. Then we can go in the vent. Now, do I have to? Yeah, just jump into it. I was wondering if I need to like jump and crouch at the same time. So when I jumped, I crouched and got into it. Right, where'd that guy go? Is he still around? Um. Right. Well, I can. I believe I can use cover, I think. Can't remember how though. There's some cover mechanic, I believe. Uh, there's actually an achievement to not kill anyone in this game. Oh, there we go, that's how you do it. It's the right mouse button. Obviously, the shots aren't as accurate. Unless you uh, lean out a bit. Come on, out, out. Got shot, and you. There's also no health in this game. But as you can see, you die after so many shots. So, I mean, it's more realistic. Um.
but you don't have to worry about your health. I mean, some games, you know, they make you need to be worried about your health and find health packs as you go through, and if you don't find health packs, you're screwed and stuff, but, you know, I like games like this where are more ingenious in the way they present things to you and kind of, I mean, they slimlined the, um, the heads-up display, so there's not really anything here, which is good. I might be able to sneak around without the guys knowing I'm here and then do a, a lethal or non-lethal takedown, I believe. Or I could just sneak past them, I think. But we'll see how that goes. Hmm. Let's lean out and get that guy. Wonder if the other guy knows where I am. No, he doesn't. Let's get him. Chuck. Right. Can I grab their guns? Yes, I've got their ammo. And you can move guys as well because you alert guys. If you take one down and just leave his body there, another one will see it and be on alert. And basically try and search for you. Jump over. Right, now there's a group of guys in the next room. So I'm going to have to be quite careful. I can't really... Right, there we go. I was going to say, I can't really just... Uh, run up to them and take them both down. You can take people down, but you have to sneak up to them. So I might try and do that. There's that guy walking down there. There's them two standing there. So you have to think about this game a bit more strategically. Or you can go in guns blazing, but you have to be quite skilled. Okay, turn away, turn away. That's it. Got behind him. What button is it? Get how to. Oh! Okay, I forgot how to do it. But, um. Figure that out in a bit. I'm sure it will tell me later on in the game. Oh, oh I'm going red. A few more shots and I'm dead. There. Yep, told you. Right, I really need to figure out how to do this um, takedown business. Let's load the latest save and then I'll go and check the controls again because I can't remember for the life of me what the controls are. Okay. Let's go into options. Um controls keyboard okay move da -da 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 -da, crouch cover action might be that oh no take down Q oh and I can mark and track as well I didn't know that oh and there's a cloak oh my god oh that must be um it's with the augmentation so it must be an augmentation right Q and then I can, I believe I can choose what when I'm doing it if it's lethal or not. And then what was it? T to track, I think. So if I, does it work? Oh, never mind. So it's supposed to go again. I can also like switch sides without them seeing me. Do 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 do. Right, let's try this again. Where's that guy? Is he walking towards me? He is. So we'll wait. And then I should be able to go up behind him and press Q. Wait a minute. It's going to turn around any second now. There we go. Go and Q him. Oh god, crap, there's a guy right there. Phew. That was close. I could just sneak past them. I don't even need to kill them. But let's see if I can get one of them down. I need to make sure another one's not looking at me, though. Oh, crap, he's coming. Right. Let's get him. Oh, crap. Right, I need to recover. I need to recover. He's coming for me. Oh, damn it. Oh, 
crap, flashbang. One more, one more. Where's he gone? Ah, oh, he's there. Let's get that dude. Alright, there we go. Now I need to figure out how to take down. Obviously I can't do that now they're dead. Doesn't look like they've, doesn't look like they've dropped anything other than weapons. Where am I where am I heading? Out this door. Alright, I need some guy on his own just to try a takedown. Who the hell's that? Got a teleport augmentation as well. How do I open it? Maybe I can't. Maybe I can't. Well, that guy's dead. Oh, now it opens. Oh my god. Hmm. Oh, it's four of them. There's a cue to take down. So what do I do? Hold it. Run up to them and hold it. Something like that. Need them to split up a bit though. One of them's gone, but three of them are still together. Hmm. Where's that guy going? One of them's going to see me. That was close. In fact, I think one of them's going to get me. Or not. I do not have a confirmation yet. Hostile in the area. Keep searching. Hmm. Over there. Okay, I'm not going to get a chance to try and take one of them down. Just have to try and take them out my guns for now. Which is quite easy considering. Oh, crap. Another friggin' flashbang. I can't see anything. I believe there's a melee button as well. I think. Okay, I'm guessing they just got dropped guns again, so we don't need to worry. In fact, I can't remember if they drop anything other than guns in the whole game. I'm sure they must do. I'm sure they must do, but... Okay, that's not quite good. Okay, so some guys sent a whole group of elite warriors to try and invade our company. And I wonder what they're aiming for, though. That's what we need to find out. Nice save. Oh, there's other guys. They're still going to get us. And that didn't do much damage to him. Just hurt him a little bit. That was that looked like acid. God, these guys are quite the brutes. Producer, game director, art director. Okay, these are some brilliant people. Who made this game. Come on, save Adam. Can't die now. Because it's the beginning of the game. Look at this brilliant video. A little bit gory. Enough people today. 
I believe, to save him, what they did was they genetically enhanced him. I gave him um, some augmentations. So now he can further upgrade himself when he wakes up because he's already upgraded. Basically, well, yeah, basically he was dying, I believe now, and they put augmentations in him so he's, his body recovers. So he's basically, he's basically a robot, but it's still his brain. So he's technically not a robot, but his but most of his body parts are robotic, and he can be genetically modified, I believe. Don't take me on that, but that's why he's become this more powerful being, um, and can up, upgrade or augment himself quite a bit. So there we go, that's the intro. Pocket secretaries often contain passwords or passcodes. So they're basically scattered around and rather than hacking into a computer, if you've got the password, you don't need to. Especially you want to find those especially if you don't have very high hacking level. Which we'll see later on. So we're in Saraf headquarters. I'm just going to tweak the video very slightly. I wonder if I where is the hmm okay direct X eleven shadows depth of field uh V sync triple buffering tessellation Okay I've got three D. Oh it supports three D, that's interesting. I was going to turn the graphics down, but uh, I think I might just leave it. David, you in the building? Just entered the lobby. Sorry to pull you out of sick leave so soon, but uh, we've got a situation. A breaking at our Milwaukee Junction factory. Meet me at the helipad. I have to see Pritchard first. Something's wrong with my retinal enhancement. Frank's on the second floor in the tech lab. Make it quick. People's lives are at stake. So quickly, I'll show you the hacking. So there'll be different levels. That one says um, security level four. So I'd imagine that's quite high. Um, so no code found because I haven't got a pocket secretary or anything. So I'll hack it. I'll probably fail this one because it's a security rating four out of five, I believe. Oh, right, so you have to have a certain security level, um, certain hacking level to even try and hack it, actually. So I can't show you right now. I will show you later on, though, definitely. Unless there's a lower security one around. Oh, that's two. Let's try that. Might need me to upgrade once first. Yeah, I can't do it. So we'll view that soon, but not right now, then. Ta-da! -da. 